Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy r and R. I'm your host Ryan and this is an episode of The Sports Bar. This is Fantasy with Rob and Ryan, Fantasy R&R. Okay, today's episode of The Sports Bar is going to be the Reuben Sandwich. Despite popular confusion, yes this is an American dish, no it is not kosher. We're going to start off with a big slab of corned beef. You want to get one with some nice marbled fat in there, that's really what's going to give it a lot of the flavor. Don't get too much fat though, because then you're gonna lose out on the actual meat. This does come with its own spice pack. You can go ahead and put together a spice pack of your own if that's what you wanna do, but these work out just fine. First, we're gonna to want to cut this open and drain the blood off. Give it a nice, good rinse. And make sure you take the spice pack off of the meat. They get stuck in there in these prepackaged corned beef briskets. Discard that. And again, just make sure you get a lot of that excess blood off of there. We're going to put it in a pot, cover it with water. This is gonna go fat side up. When you're trying to sear something in a pan, you want fat side down. When you're boiling meat like this, you want fat side up. Take this spice pack and just release it into the water. You don't have to rub it all over the meat. It's not gonna make a difference. And you really don't want a lot of these giant kernels stuck to your corned beef when the process is done in the first place. Once it's got a couple of inches above the meat covered with water, set it on your stove and get it up to boiling. Put a lid on it to help it get up to a boil faster. When it's up to a boil, you actually want to turn it down to a light simmer. You don't want to boil the crap out of the meat. You want it to look more like this. Give it a nice, long, slow cook. Let it sit for about three hours. Really depends on the size of your brisket, but three hours does the trick for almost any two to three pound brisket. Put it on your cutting board or wherever you wish and let it rest for an entire hour before cutting it. As you can see, this is the way the grain runs. You wanna cut against the grain a lot of this excess fat here, you can trim that off. As you can see, this is not something you really want to eat all at once. You can leave some of it on there at the top of the strips. It actually adds a lot of flavor and it's quite delicious. But cut against the grain. As you can see here, it's not going to look stringy. This is the correct way to cut it. And look, it's just like falling apart. That's what the boiling process is going to do. That's your corned beef right there. This is going to be the base for your Reuben sandwich. Nice and tender. Once you got some corned beef done, get a nice hot pan ready or a grill or a panini press, whatever you prefer to use. I'm just using my cast iron pan as usual. And these are the ingredients you need, you'll need. You're, you're not gonna want any specific amount. As Marco Pierre White likes to say, there's no real recipe. Take some of this Russian dressing. You can make your own, it's really easy, but Ken's Steakhouse Russian dressing is really good. And you're going to want to put it on rye bread. Pumpernickel is also fun to use. They also have marbled pump uh, pumpernickel rye. I'm just using regular rye. Swiss cheese. Make sure you put this on the Russian dressing side. We're going to put the sauerkraut on at the end. Place your corned beef distributed nice and balanced across the sandwich so that everything heats up again very easily. And again, the last thing you want to do is put your sauerkraut on top. You can drain it out if you want first, that helps, but regardless, you never want to put the sauce and the sauerkraut on the same side of the bread. The moisture from the sauerkraut will release into the dressing and ruin the consistency of the dressing, and you'll get a real drippy mess. Get your sauerkraut distributed. Then put the sandwich together, give it a nice pat down, keep it, keep it held. And we're gonna take this butter, transfer it to the hot pan. And it's gonna be kinda of like we're making a grilled cheese where we're gonna press down on both sides of the sandwich. So here we are, we're going to transfer the sandwich in. And if you've got one of those bacon presses or anything like that, those are real helpful. I kind of just take the spatula and just kind of hold the sandwich down about three minutes each side. 
It's gonna give it a nice toast and it's going to melt the cheese and warm up all the ingredients again in the middle. So again, about three minutes, flip it over. Be golden brown. And after that three minutes is done, you can take your sandwich, bring it over to your cutting board. And here I also just like to do a little bias cut just to make it look fancy. And those trapeze peppers you saw before, those are spicy vinegar peppers. I just use that as a garnish with a toothpick. That's your Reuben right there. And you can place it on your sandwich. Place your sandwich on your plate. Nice and pretty. Put those trappy peppers in there. And you are all done. Give you a close-up look of this Reuben sandwich. This is absolutely delicious for game day. And I hope you like it. And that's it. That was another episode of The Sports Bar. Once again, my name is Ryan. We will see you next time for Fantasy R&R. &R.